All right, I'm waking up this morning with some Wellington's victory. I'm a little game here on uh, Waterloo. We'll go back to show you how big this game is. This is uh, uh, south, north, west, east. So we're going to go all the way east here. We're going to pull on out. Here's to show you the big map. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little game. And unlike Hex Wars, it's got some good, uh, cheap games, and I got some that aren't so good. And for some reason, I got a couple of their uh, really simple Civil War games, and for some reason, it's nothing like this. It's more of a cartoon. I mean, this one here is simple, but in a good way. Let me move on down here. The English are here. And my units are on this side. Battle lines running north and south, or east and west. Um, let me zoom on in. See, they're not they're not lit up. You can only see right now the highlighted hexes are the ones where my point of view or my field of vision is. We're gonna come down here and show you. I had a little strategy where I gathered all the cavalry, almost all the French cavalry, and swung them wide uh, as far east as they can go. Now, the British had units here. We just bypassed them. Like I said, they're firing out shots from the town at us as we sprint on by. Let's see if we can get down in here some more. I'll show you the general situation. Now, these guys here are my laggers. A couple, as a matter of fact, a couple of them are taking shots. This guy here is barely hanging on. Uh, he's got four, 40, 40 men left. Uh, a little bit more experience. He's got about 80 in that group. And like I said earlier, the numbers are eight, but there's no way there's eight men in there. I mean, I don't know why they didn't put an extra zero behind them. Let's see what we got down here. All right, more towns, but we're zooming on up in between this here. And like I said, that's the rear guard. Here's my, more of my cavalry here behind the lines. And we've already destroyed a bunch of artillery that was here. That's their main objective, is to destroy the artillery. Come here and get a better shot, maybe in here. I think this is the uh, furthest extent my cavalry's gone. We're passing up this one. And these guys here are freaking out. They're looking, they don't know where to go because you got them on the rear, and we got French on the right. So it's a total hammer and anvil tactic if I wanted to, but we're not going to do that with the cavalry. Their mission's just to scoot up here as fast as they can. Here's the spearhead, and uh, here is my target. These old boys are busy engaging. I, I think this is the main front here. It's just south of uh, La Halle Saint, or just just east of La Halle Saint. I keep on getting it messed up. Uh, from now on, north, south, east, west. I don't care what the real map says. All right, so we're going to move on up north here, straight on up. Maybe get some of these. Like I said, this is the like extent. Oh, hello. Well, game of time is going to get caught short because we got a little buddy. <laughs> uh, I think he wants some attention. We'll be right back. All right, then. So, like I said, we're coming on up through here. The main force. We're going to try to scoot them on through. If they can get through the withering fire of these infantry, I don't know if they're going to fire at them or what, but... uh. What's going on up here? And here's the here's the big bastion right here. All of these. This is where I just want to crush my cavalry into. We'll probably swing it wide this way. Hopefully there ain't too many units back there. I don't think there are. So far we don't see none. But if we can get back here and come around here and just start tearing into this artillery. He's got his little English Grand Battery. All right, let's go over here then, more of the battlefield. And like I said, they're not lit up, but we we're just pouring units into here. The main fighting's going around here, but the only thing is, you can you can only get so many units, you know, to face each other. Meanwhile, I'm pouring artillery on into them too. So artillery versus artillery, I outgun them, which is one thing that's so far. It's, I don't see what the deal is with this battle. I mean, I know the weather ain't really right. Stuff like that, but we outnumber them. Unless there's a whole bunch of them coming on in, and that might be good what's going on uh, west or north. Because there are a bunch of Prussians or Dutch or something coming on in there. So I don't know really that much detail of battle, but there you go. Big old bunch of fighting coming on in there. And then I got my ultimate grand battery up here. 
Oh, and we still got uh, artillery that's being limbered in by a uh, horse, so we haven't got it all set up yet. But here's our front lines. Anybody that unfortunate enough to be back here, gonna get tanked. Bring my artillery in. Now, I think this is Hugamont up here. Yeah, we got that. We happen to get in there right away with our uh, melee. Well, the only way to do it was to climb those walls or something, but uh, he didn't have no strong units in there. There was, like I said, mostly skirmishers, and we moved them right out. So I don't know historically if that was the way it happened or what, but the, it was easy to take Hugamont, I think. Not definitely hard like it was historically. Let's see here. We'll moved on in. He's got his units in square. This is where all the heavy fighting is. I went through with my cavalry. I think they paid the price. Yeah. <laughs> They're all lying around. But uh, we got some. Oh, hold on a second. We got goofball here. <laughs> hey, what are you wanting? Huh? <laughs> all right. Let's see what I got here then. Oh. What you doing? You're so goofy. You're just so goofy. Gosh. Burners. They, they're just a tension. You got to be all over them. All right. So, like I said, here's uh, Hugamont. We've done gotten through there. We're kind of pushing on through. Look at this goofball. <laughs> what are you doing? Let everybody see how goofy you are. Put your head back. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, all the way back. Let him be with his dad. He didn't be just to be right on top of me. God. All right. Hang on. Let's get this done with. Some people I want to see. All right, so anyway, that was it. We got another little main battery here. Little grand battery just to deal with. But that's where my threat's coming from. If I can hold off up here. I got some, oh, here's some more cavalry. I'm doing the same thing. I got cavalry going on both ends. But here, here's, the, they're coming in here. Now, I don't know what's behind this, but it don't look good. And if we can hold them off. Now, I got cavalry up there, but they're not going to deal with them. We want to swing the cavalry on around again take advantage of that speed there's my i got some already back here but they're coming up coming on in and they got the target looking at it <laughs> uh so we'll see i got it on hard mode and historic mode he said that's the hardest you could have it on so we shall see what's up but yeah that is my waterloo situation by hex wars games and we'll be back for gaming season. Having a great time. A little under the weather. Feel better today. Head's still kind of congested. But it's the energy that uh, is the main thing. And I'm not missing nothing. We got snow and everything else outside there. So great time to be off work. You got to get up and clean off your car, warm it up and all that. That's why I do what I do. So we'll be back. Got some... Uh, Empires of the Sun to get into it. Oh man, I, you, sometimes when you get into it, start getting into that game, you can't get out of it. I think I was on that game early in the morning yesterday, and I didn't stop till late at night. Had some uh, breaks in between, but like I said, once you get going on it, it's hard to pull away, and it's slow going. Slow going. I mean, we're not even on the. I, well, I guess we're on the third turn, but yeah, it's been a while. All right, we got guys getting restless here. Got to go outside. We'll be back. All right, just making me a little better look. We just got done with the allied turn here in a Waterloo game. But here you go. You can see my units are highlighted in blue. It's my wide push. I'm coming up on in here and let me pause this for a cold and flu throat break. I'll be right back. All right. Like I said, it was just the uh, allied turn. And man, I'm telling you what. Let me like, move you up here some. That artillery has got to go. <laughs> that is withering. And the thing of it is, he's the English are using the heck out of theirs. I'm holding back. I really haven't fired that much of mine because uh, there are ammo limitations. So he's he's, yeah, he's hammering on me. <laughs> I need this art uh, these cavalry guys to get on up here and start hammering on this artillery. Unfortunately, the old bot or AI ain't too stupid. He's got himself some square. Uh, infantry back there, or infantry in square rather, and uh, yeah, it's, we got our work cut out for us, but we got to get this artillery because they are just hammering. Like, it's hard to show, it's hard for me to keep up with it because once it goes, this map is so big. When you zoom out here, 
you can maybe see somebody move around by the time you zoom in there they're done and somebody down here is starting to move so it's hard to keep up with the AI's moves but he has just got done with his moves a little situation look here and we are bringing our cavalry on down we could go ahead and do this now while we're live all right well, this one here just got hammered that's what this uh little symbol here stands for dispersed or disrupted so i don't know how good he's going to be oh he can still get up there oh, we gotta get up there do i hammer a gun while i got the chance so no guns to be had oh we need him to be like a decoy we don't want to sacrifice him well we got a gun here oh no we got a gun within range we don't want to lose any more men but we do want to get undisrupted, so what we will do is put him back here, well within range of next turn. He can lightning strike. We want him. Ah, let's get him a little bit further. <laughs> that artillery's withering. There you go, boys. Get yourself re. Ah, no chance to get them reestablished or reorganized. All right, this one's good, but unfortunately. Uh, do we start taking out these guns? If they haven't fired, they'll fire back at us. But we're going to go ahead and uh, start taking them out. Or do I save them? And try to get more up here. The Grand Battery is right up here. <laughs> these guys, this area here is the ones that you just started firing at me. I was like, oh my god, these fucking cannonballs are flying out and hitting my men. Not doing too much damage, but you know, at least taking out. And I, I come down here and I'll show you these numbers. Uh, right here, I guess the strength is rated 3. It doesn't mean 3 men. It means their strength is rated 3. Now I kind of interpret that more as meaning 30 in my little in my little world here. So 30 men here. 3 strength is what they call it. It's kind of goofy because you'll have you'll have them at 1 strength and they'll be like you know there's more than, you know there's more than one guy there so it's more of a strength rating. These guys are definitely hit. Oh, uh, we are going to go after the main battery. We got to get up here. It'll give them time to see us, though. But if we could draw these men here this way, it'll give me time. I got more cavalry up here coming on down through. But let's swing on through here. Uh, if I send this cavalry in there, he's going to get chewed up. I think I want to save him. We'll go out here. These guns are all going to turn around and try to... Man, they might... Disperse, disrupt us though. Oh, yeah, we're gonna take it easy. We're going out here. There you go, there you go. Move my cavalry on up. Out of range of his gun there. Yeah, come on, stay out up here. If I go through here, he can't really shoot at me. I might bog down. I need to save my cavalry, so we will see, we will see. And you don't want to get behind these hedgerows. That'll definitely, it's a great way to bog cavalry. I had a bunch of them up there. I made a bad move of getting some cavalry close to Hougamont. And that place is Hedgerow City. And they were bogged. They had, when my men were bogging them, the English were taking advantage and just throwing volleys on into the situation. Alright, well I made a mistake in letting the dog out now he knows I'm doing something and he's gonna want attention, so here let me get these Oh no, I, that was way too close. Alright, that was way too close. They're gonna get hammered. These old boys down here are down to four. We ain't got time to give you attention. We're going. Full gallop. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and make these moves. If I get a chance, I'll show you what the situation is later on with uh Waterloo. Uh, we'll be back. I'll just take care of what I got to take care of. We'll be back. All right, we're back. And this is the very uh, far east part of the map. I don't know what these towns are. We have little skirmishers here. We're going to finish off these units. And I don't know what these uh, um, uh, units are. I guess these are English. Let's hit this one right here. French. Ah. Uh, uh, well, tell me who these guys are. Oh, Hanover and Prime. I don't know if we can get an identification on this one. There you go. 
get IDs on these units. So we got some Dutch Belgium coming in here, but my infantry or my cavalry is behind them, and there's nothing else coming in behind them. So this, we're gonna make sure I work on these guys just with our, my skirmishers here. Line infantry. And last but not least, skirmishers. These, they're disrupted. Get your fire. Correct your fire. Alright. Line infantry. Alright, so that little area there is. I mean, bring them on. <laughs> and I've yet to do anything with my artillery. Like I said, I've been saving shells. I mean, he's throwing them on in here. This one, we got a little bit of a. We'll, we'll just keep on coming there, boys. And like I said, I don't know what happened in history. No, uh, things weren't going good. They threw in the guard prematurely. Then the guard got hit with their cavalry. And was, I don't know, maybe a, a comeback with, our, with the guard cavalry. I'm not sure. So, more skirmishers. Red coats. I don't know if we're going to move up. We're going to stay back here and bring them on up if they want. Yeah, we'll leave our... Let's, we're going to move these guys around a little bit. But anyway, just showing you what's going on in here. I got a bunch of units to move. See how I want to do it. I've yet to use my artillery. Having fun with Hex Wars. Wellington's victory. Let's see if we can't change that here in Waterloo. All right, continuing on with this... Uh, Waterloo scenario and Hex Wars, Wellington's Victory. And uh, there is a Wellington's Victory board game. I was watching Ard Will Slayer, and they were talking about Wellington's Victory, and I don't think they were talking about this game. So there is another game called Wellington's Victory. We're at the very bottom of the map, which would be the very eastern edge, and we'll work our way up, show you what's going on. Uh, if you watched earlier, you could see that I had a big old flanking cavalry maneuver. And this boy, these boys right here are the rear of it. So let's go on out and see where the rest of the guys are. You can see all the French. I'm, I'm getting ready to move all the French units, which is who I'm playing. The French side is uh, highlighted in blue. So we'll move on up here. You can see I got my cavalry coming on back. Now some have been hammered and didn't make it. But we got a little bit of them. You can see they're around here. In the rear of the uh, British. So the British are here. You can see all my men lined up here and my artillery behind them. A little bit of a holding action here. He ain't got, the British ain't got much down here either. But more importantly, there's nobody back here. So I think this is going to be the crux of their force. Um, we can see more cavalry getting ready to eye up this artillery. But the uh, AI bot has put some squares back here. <laughs> So he's definitely seeing the, what's going on in his rear. Here we got some more artillery getting ready to do their job. And Flash and Blue gets there just waiting on orders for me. So we're going to have some action going on here. But you can see my grand battery is just going to... There ain't much left of them, really. I think what I need to do is swing this battery on around. Clear these boys on out, which will be no problem. But swing this battery on out to where they're all facing this way, because I do have the uh, uh, offensive coming from here. These units here, which are, I believe they're, oh, are they Dutch? Oh, British. Oh, huh. Yeah, Dutch Belgium. Is this British or Dutch Belgium? Dutch Belgium. So the Dutch and the Belgium are coming in from the uh, west. The British on the north. French coming up from the south. So there you go. This is my only threat here, and I don't have really much to deal with it. Like I said, I'm going to try to swing, swing on around. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so that's the deal with old Waterloo. We're going to go ahead and try to move here. See if we can get something going. 
Yeah, we want this cavalry unit just to get on up here. Catch up, catch up with your buddies. Now we do have targets here, but I think we're gonna need these cavalry more up top. So I want to get away from the square. Don't want them firing at them. So we'll go. We'll get us a little protection along the hedgerows. All right, now the rest of these rear boys. It's got to be unnerving. I guess it could be a good uh, tactic just to go ahead and crash into these guys here and crash into here. But I really want to get rid of this artillery. So let's leave the old boys alone. And we'll take out our first artillery unit up here. Let's get us a little zoom action going on. And there you go. Melee attack. Takes out two of us with canister shot, or 20 men with canister shot, but we eliminate 60 men and their cannons. Yeah, that's what it's all about. All right, next group. We got some veteran. Oh, let's see what we got here. French Chavou Laguerre's Polonais. Oh, IG. So I'm not really sure about that, but I'm sure they have a good history there are 40 of them I'm gonna send them on over here and target the 60 or so men manning this artillery another melee attack takes out 10 men the canister but we were able to tear them up and all this artillery is down yeah all right we got more we got more uh, cavalry back here to do their work so let us continue. Oh. Don't look like he's going to be able to do anything. We'll get him close. Not within range. Yeah. All right. Well, here's a little sacrificial unit. We'll 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 pull him back. I don't think there's no use to just. Although he can absorb a hit. And, uh, yeah, sorry you guys are going in there. <laughs> Charge, mofos. There's only 40 of them. We'll see what's up. They didn't even get a shot off. And therefore, didn't even do nothing to my men. Oh, yeah, I'm going to lose them. They went down in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. All right. Well, there's more behind there. There you go. No shot to be fired because he already squeezed off whatever he can. He got no time to load again. Oh, he did. And it missed. That was strange. Alright, well, they're gone. Another artillery bites the dust. Ooh, another battery. That's what this is all about. Get these batteries. Ooh, there's no one here, though. If we want to get these, well, hold on a second. Let me pause this real quick. Be right back. I know we have more of a chance of uh, surviving going against this battery here, although there are units. He goes after this one. Uh, we'll see. We'll have a ca cascading effect. Though there'll be a whole bunch next to him, so we'll see if we can get down there and just start doing what we're supposed to do. Lost 10 men and destroyed theirs. I think I lost another 10, but there you go. That was my rear action. Moving on up. Come down here. Saving our artillery fire when we can. All right. Look at our numbers here. I can't see no numbers. Seven, seven, twenty, nineteen, hundred ninety. Oh, we'll take a pox shot. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ouch. Yeah, sometimes you gotta watch hitting them buttons. I guess that could just be considered orders that went array. We'll shoot through the hedgerows. Oh, go for the leader shot, this one. Line infantry. Oh, no, nope, we don't want to do an assault. See, that's what happens. Get over here. Get out of it. If you want to do it, if you don't want to shoot them, then you just move on up. Let's see what their other targets are over here, though. Cannon. Yeah, let's move up to here. And then shoot. Uh, that's more like it. Oh, what's here? If 
fighter or artillery. I can't read a number there. Oh, four left. We'll bring our units on up if we can. And fire. Leader on up. Leader up, leader up. You gotta watch those leaders though. Alright, let's get a better view. Oh, these boys here dispersed. I need to move. They can still fire dispersed too, can they? No. Alright, where are the guys? I should have reformed them. They're gonna be disrupted for a while. Let's move these guys on up. I think I'm tired of this unit. You're going down. Attack through. Ooh, took one out. Attack through the hedgerow and took them out. All right, that's what we're talking about. It looks like we got a nice little superiority here. There's only a few French units left, or a few British units left. Look at the Grand Battery. Ooh, these guys are all limbered. All right, we will let you know what it looks like when we get done with our move. Waterloo. All right, we're getting kind of down in the nitty gritty here on this front line here. I think this is La Hella Saint. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and try us a little assault. He's got a leader and some units kind of hunkered down here with, in this little spot within the hedgerows. They're kind of a little thorn on our side. We'll see what we can do. We're going to attack them with 90 French Grenadiers. See how it goes. Should be a win. Let's we'll see what happens to that leader, though. Ooh, we, they repelled us. Ouch. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, then. These boys here are all bogged down. They can't go nowhere for some reason. We're all bogged. These boys here already used up. But, yeah, we got a little bottleneck here. We were able to get through and eliminate some of our artillery. But more artillery to be had. We got these guys ready to go forward for the melee if needed. And another quick little battery back here. We'll be right back. All right, so here we got a little bit north. Well, yeah, this would be northwest of the little town here, La Hala Saint or whatever it's called. Let me see, click on this. Now, now we got this empty. We gotta make sure we get somebody in here. Let's see if we can get somebody in here. So let's see what we can do here. These units here. He can't get through the hedgerow. How come? He can't get through the hedgerow. No. But we can block it. Well, we better get somebody in there to really block it. So somebody's got to get into these hedgerows. <laughs> no, somebody's got to get into the town. We got it, but we got either got it blocked. Let's see if we can't move here. Nice line infantry. They're in line formation. They can fire. Let's see if we can move and fire. I'll maneuver some of my forces down around here real quick. Whoa. We need to break through. We got plenty of reinforcements. Go on up there, boys. And fire, yeah. I'm going to take out one of these. There's six remaining here. Six here and 50 here. Let's go after the artillery. Missed. Not good. All right, we want to plug up this hole. So we'll... Uh, let's see if we can get down here. We got a leader with us. And fire? Oh, yeah, and fire. And we're in line formation. Another mess, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see what our leader. Can he move into the town? No. Nope. Get him back here with some artillery. All right, boys, your turn. Oh, this one's, this one's a veteran unit. What are we targeting here? We only got three hexes that are available. You can see our range, kind of. I don't think that this is within range. You can see what they're, I guess, is their line of sight. So then we're going to hit the square formation so we can't get us 20 killed. 20, yeah, and they're disrupted. Nice shot by our veteran unit. Only 30 left. We'll see if we can't finish this unit off with artillery fire. All right, come on, we need more batteries, more grand battery. One more shot should do it. There you go. Nothing like eliminating a unit with artillery fire with my 
Grand Battery. All right, what we got going on back here? Well, we got a bunch of units. Up. I don't want to waste any more artillery fire if I don't have to. What are we gonna do about these units here? Let's move these on up. These are some French, French one air Voltigeurs. So let's move them on up. This is this is our. Oh, just fire at the artillery. I guess this is our unit here. We'll find out here in a second. I can't waste the click. All right, now I can waste the click. Who are these boys? Oh, it's our. That's that's our units. We got them all cleared out. Then this is more of our units. So this is pretty much it. Yes, let's move around. Move around time. Come on over, boys. Yeah, we like when our skirmishers can get going. Uh, more skirmishers. Oh, we want to get these skirmishers here, though. Give us a little volley fire into this British unit. Oh, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Oh, shoot. Wasted that move. All right, let's get these guys on in here. Might as well. With the leader, minus one, melee, against 50, 10 versus 50. Oh, not good. And I sacrificed the leader. That's not a smart move. That is not a smart move at all. That was dumb. All right, let's see here. We'll fire with our artillery. We'll go at, we might go after this artillery here. This artillery is a killer. A little bit of better, what's called counter battery fire. They are disrupted. This leader's not going to be sacrificed, but he will join these men here. War with Grand Battery work could probably take care of that. Let's see if we can't take care of that artillery unit. Fire. Mess. Ooh, don't like that range. Ultra long range, nobody there. You will be mounted on up. Another shot at that artillery. Ooh, there you go. So that's all about one more time. Let's see if we can't finish them off. Mess. Ouch. This artillery's out of range. He will be mounted on up. One more shot. Yeah, come on. Finish off that artillery. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're doing good in this game. All right, now this is where I want to swing this artillery on up. So I'm going to have to get these guys lined up because we have a threat coming in here. So here's what we're going to do. Four, you're going to go here. He's in line formation. Uh, get yourself in column. Ah, uh, now I can't move. Oh, I didn't know there were units here. That's not good. We need to fire and get these guys eliminated. <coughs> You're blocking my formation spot. Yeah, we need to get these guys going. All right, look, we can put some more units on up, bring them on up. Can they fire though? They're in columns. It won't be worth a hoop. But we'll take a shot. Oh yeah, I'll take one out. All right, well I need to get my artillery going up here. So these old boys, we're clear here. I don't really want to risk it. It's all, it's all French. We might be good. Let's see if we can't get us a battery going. I will limber him. We won't unlimber yet. He can, can he do anything? Yeah, okay. Oh, we can fire. Fire at the leader. Fire. Takes out one. Oh, I'll use my artillery if I got it. Fire again. Fire. Well, it's not good. Oh, what do you want to do? Fire, fire. All right, time to eliminate him through artillery. Oh, I need no more artillery to lip. All right, these guys are limbering. Follow this one. Oh, he could set up maybe. Get him here and see if we can unlimber. Unlimber, yeah, there's our first one. Going over here, we got a little line going over there. All right, now we need to finish off this unit. They're in line. All right, that's what I'm talking about. My leader here, I want them to him to join somebody. He can join down here. Little boys here, we need to get a line going on. 
this way is the way we're going to get this line. Oh, damn, I didn't still see this, guys. Did not have a big old arty unit in my way. Oh, here you go, they're done. I had to do it out of necessity just to get them. Took 10 down with me, to 10 down with them. There's 30 units here, we take care of it. Yeah, plan is coming through. So like I said, we're switched all, trying to get all this artillery here massed this way. Looks like my flank here is taken care of. We just gotta worry about this uh, onslaught from the west. So we got here. Oh, these guys are not long for this world anywhere, are they? Let's pull back, pull back. Can these guys join anybody? Nope. Get yourself in a line formation. I got me some cavalry here. We like the cavalry in the rear. Come on up here just to threaten them. As you're sitting here, you don't want the cavalry looking out going, oh, what's he doing back here? So I'll use him just to make him nervous. And he'll be utilized here in the next turn. All right, we got some artillery we can use here. Oh, we want to go for the leader. Ah. Let me see. Uh, we need to soften up these old boys right here, coming after us. Before they get us, they're coming. Miss. Fire again, they're coming. Miss. All right, my leader will stay here behind him. I think that's going to be it for my moves. Yep, yeah, that is it. Oh, I got some cavalry back here. What are these boys doing? Let's go. Move on up. Same thing with you. Yeah, I got to love it coming on in here. I got some... British squares definitely AI seen the seen the, the cavalry behind them and uh, positioned his positioned his troops accordingly. But here's French right here, so yeah, we're looking real good on this Waterloo game. <laughs> I got said like I said in hard settings. I brought all my cavalry though, and you, I should have showed should have showed you what it looks like when they start. Maybe I'll do that here in a second on a second game. But yeah, it was a big deal. Like, gather all these guys down there and it was quite a long little drive to get them to swing around but once they've gotten behind the lines they're definitely doing more than their job hard setting first chance or first crack at waterloo and we will be back